Hi guys, we're at Danny Doolin's waiting for the weigh-in for David Light's fight against Corey Anoka and for my professional day debut. It will be at the ABA tomorrow. All use it starts at 6 p.m. or 6 30 p.m. Uh, be there. Glad Rap Channel, you're with Andre, who's making his pro debut tomorrow, man. You're looking in tremendous shape. Uh, how you feeling, man? I feel good, bro. I'm looking forward to this shit. You know, I've been anticipating this since I was very little. Um, I've trained hard. I haven't I've finished my amateur career like July last year, so I'm looking forward to getting back, the doctor. getting back into the ring and all that. But it's a different platform, obviously, with smaller gloves and bigger risk. But you know, it's more entertaining, and that's what I want to be a showman and go out there and perform. And I'm looking forward to that. Definitely. Have you fought on uh, the Auckland, you know, on this card before, like the the, the previous nah, shows? Nah, man, okay, nah, okay. nah, nah. I um, I fought. Fuck, nah, 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 none of the peach cards because a lot of it's corporate oriented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My like, pro oriented. So I never fought on a peach card. And I've only been with uh, Isaac since maybe July last year. And that's where the best move I've done is moved in with like five like, Training there is like phenomenal and I love it. So it's like, it's awesome. It's great. But never on his card. Nah, never on his card. Is it a good stable over at Peach? Yeah, well, we got David Light over there. We got Ruben. We got Jerome. We got everyone. Like, just even like even the corporates. Like, you know, I don't like to generalize the like, corporates, but, you know, they're just like such good people to be there and shit like that. And I love it. It's like such a team family environment. So, so, it's great. Who are some of your role models, man? Like, Who are my role models? Yeah. Like, in terms of just what? In, like, in boxes? combat or. Okay, okay. Yeah. We'll go. We'll go go around the world and historically and then close, close to me. Yeah, yeah. My role models is Arturo Gatti. I like Arturo Gatti. I love like how he was that real, you know, tough motherfucker. I like, obviously I like Ali and all that. I like, I sort of like the showmanship that Conor McGregor brings. Prince Nassim is another one. I love the Prince. But if I speak more close to my heart, my role models are obviously like my, my dad. My role models are my dad, my mom, and my brother. Especially my brother. My brother's been through a lot in his life, and I'm very proud of him. Definitely my brother. Do you have fighters in the family as well? Or? Nah, well, I'm a twin, right? Okay. So me and my twin, we used to always have big punch ups growing up and shit like that. And that was fucking good fun, right? He used to actually bash my head on a fucking few times. But then, like, when I started doing boxing, it didn't really fuck with me too more. But he's there was the occasional time to knock me the fuck out. But we all fun and games growing up. Is that kind of what brought you into boxing, like self defense? Like nah. maybe protect yourself what, what, your brother? What, what got me into boxing? Boom. What got me into boxing was I was 14, 13 and I was at school, right? I'll get into like you know punch-ups of everyone. Because I've always been like that. I like the confrontation and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. But what got me into it was I was walking down an alleyway between uh, a school I was at and this big this kid who was older than me and bigger than me shoved a cigarette into my chest, right? Oh. And I felt defenseless, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. So from that, I was like, right, I wanna find a boxing gym, I'll knock this motherfucker out and all that. Yeah. And I ended up falling in love with the sport and just getting on it. But and that's that's also like to do with like I got a bit more mature with like my boxing and stuff like that. And, you know, I don't I don't really like condone street fighting now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, that's how I got into it because of the cigarette matches. And I'm a hundred percent sure it'll scare somewhere here. I don't know where the fuck it is, but it's somewhere. Did you go find that guy or? Nah, I actually, I actually messaged him what three weeks ago. Yeah, asking for a fight. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I said thank you. I was like thank you for doing that because he led me on the road down my boxing. You know, boxing, boxing's a great sport. I, I've had my decent ups and downs with it. Like, you know, I've had to deal with like a lot of cunts and everything. But I'm very happy where I am with the beach boxing. 100. percent Like, I love Isaac and I love the whole team there. All of them are very supportive of me, and I'm very lucky to be there. So and, tomorrow, pro debut. I have to deal with these motherfuckers all yeah. the time. <laughs> And they support me as well, so it's awesome. You know, so tomorrow's your pro debut. Yeah. Under pressure, you know, to make a make a splash. Um, there's no pressure on me. All the pressure's on. All the pressure's on the event and the, for the event performance. So I'm just a part of the event. There's no pressure on me at all. Okay. I, yeah, there's the, maybe that like edge that I, I want to look cool and I want to look good and I want to fight good. But there's no pressure on me. I can only win or lose. That's it. 
and I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. I could get knocked the fuck out tomorrow, but there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know, it'll be all good. Like, I'm not too fast. I just keep it quiet and I just go about my business and it'll be all good. There's nothing to worry about, but I wanna go out there and try my best. Yeah. Hopefully I get the win, hopefully I'm not the fuck out. <laughs> awesome, man. Thanks for the time, Adrian. All the best tomorrow, man. Thank you. See you, bro. We'll talk to you after the fight, eh? Yeah. Cool.